Symptoms Diarrhea, slow growth, inadequate utilization of iron and protein. In babies, irregular bone, nerve and lung development. Causes Not to be confused with Wilson's disease, in which excess copper is present, in this case it is a copper deficiency. Not enough red blood cells are produced, white blood cells cannot cope with infections, iron is not absorbed, anemia occurs due to copper deficiency and problems in mental and physical development. It can cause anorexia and in part sprue and kidney disease. Without enough zinc, copper cannot be absorbed and exploited, and without copper, iron cannot be absorbed and exploited. Natural treatment. Take 5 mg of copper daily for one month, and then reduce to 3 mg daily. Take 30 mg of zinc daily, but not more than that amount, because too much zinc interferes with the absorption of copper. Take 100 mg of iron daily. It is recommended that you eat food rich in these metals. Copper-rich foods. Seaweed, dried, sesame seeds, cashews, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, walnuts, hemp seeds, pine nuts, pistachio nuts, flaxseed. Zinc-rich foods. Fortified cereals, wheat germ, hemp seeds, squash seeds and pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, flaxseed, firm tofu, lentils, oatmeal, quinoa. Iron-rich foods. Soybeans, sesame seeds, beans, pistachio nuts, lentils, sunflower seeds, chickpeas, wheat, almonds, spinach. Take a teaspoon of black sugar syrup every day, which is the richest source of iron. You can also benefit from iron supplement, copper supplement and zinc supplement. Take a multivitamin supplement every day. Babies who feed only on cow's milk are at higher risk of having copper deficiency. If you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe.